All right, all right, what's happening with your baby is Raj the Barber. All right, man, look, let's talk about who your perfect clientele is going to be anyway. All right, who are you marketing to? Who do you want coming into your barber shop? Who's the perfect client for you? Who do you want to cut hair every day with? I mean, listen, you're going to spend time. You're going to spend a lot of time with these clients. So before we start working together, man, look, man, you, you had to know exactly exactly who you are working with who do you want to work with rather do you want like do you want clients do you do, do you want seven figure clients do you want all millionaires coming in right and you can market to all millionaires i'll show you a strategy where you can catch all the millionaires in your in your neighborhood right do you want medium class people right the middle class do you want to deal with just do you want to cut kids? Right? You might got one of those kitty barber shops. Do you just want to cut kids? Do you want to cut all the kids in your neighborhood? Right? And, and I see that's a good niche, but at the same time, I see there's a problem with that niche. Is that something in my beard? Yeah. I see that's a big problem with that niche. If you just want to cut kids. You know what I mean? Because what do kids do? The kids get older. Kids grow up. They turn 16 and 17 and they don't want to be getting cut in a little kid's place no more. You know what I mean? So I need you to think about this. Who is your perfect clientele going to be? Who do you want to cut? Do you, do, do you want to cut inner city people? Now, I mean, you have to break it down demographically. It's called demographics, right? But then you need to go beyond that. You need to go to psychographics. Do you want to cut people like, are, are, are you a sports barbershop? Do you want to cut people who love the Sixers, who love the Lakers? Do you want to cut people like that? Do you want to cut people who love Donald Trump? Do you want to cut people who hate Donald Trump, right? Who do you want to cut? Do you want to cut all religious people, right? Maybe you got a Muslim barbershop, right? SubhanAllah. Do you want to cut them? Alhamdulillah. Do you, do you want to cut all Muslims in your barbershop? Do you want to cut all Christians? Right? Amen. I mean, do you want, I mean, look, I, I, I'm, I'm asking you, who do you want to cut? Because you can market to that and you can have all those people coming. That was it? Oh, my fucking God. So I'm, I'm trying to do a video. Uh, see, what I mean, she had to do a little meeting, so I said, I'm going to bust out a video real quick. But listen, man, who do you want to cut, though? That's who you need to rec that's who you need to recognize right now. Before you move to the next step, before I show you how to get them, right? Because I can show you exactly how to get those people. Hold on one second. Oh I'm like, where did this guy go? So this is why I can't cut here. You see how hard it was for me to get in the truck? Hey, can you close the door? Can you close the door? <sighs> So who do you want to cut? Listen, man, if, if, if this is your first time on here, you need to go back to my first video, right? And you got to get prepared. You got to get ready for those people who you want to cut. Hold on one second. Yeah. So look, who do you want to cut though? Who is your perfect client? How old are they? What are the age ranges? Do you want to cut older people? Older people got the most money. Do you want to cut young boys? Young boys are the, are the hardest to cut. And when I'm talking about young boys, I'm talking about, you know what I mean, people like in their teens to early 30s, maybe. Now, now I'm going to back up to so about their late 20s. Because they, they want to be the sharpest. They, they want the sharp lines and stuff like that. Older people, to me, are the best. People in their 40s, late 30, 30s to, to on up. 30s on up. Number one, they, they they trying to get a haircut because they know how important a haircut is. They got to get a haircut for their job. Most of them are working, right? 90% of them are working. They kind of got money. They've been going to the barbershop for a minute and they stay loyal. They might got kids. You know what I mean? So you have to be, listen, I, I need you to get down exactly who you, it's called an avatar, right? What's their name? Who Who's primarily, who do you want to cut? Now, you're going to get other people trickling in, right? 
they they they're gonna come in. They're gonna see you got a barber shop. They're gonna walk in. They're gonna want to try you out, right? And that's why you gotta go back to the first video. That atmosphere, that ambiance, is gonna keep them there. Now you can get now. Listen, you can do all the marketing you want, but your ambiance and how you treat that client, you gotta know who he is. This is exactly why you gotta know who he is because listen, if, if you're going after all millionaires, right? A broke person gonna come to your barber shop. Not a bro. I say a middle class person. You want to get a haircut? He's not gonna fit. He's not gonna feel good in your barber shop. But maybe he paid more money than the millionaires because millionaires they got to that millionaire status not by spending a lot of money on haircuts. Listen, I cut a lot of millionaires and they pay just the same as as, as regular motherfuckers do. Matter of fact, the regular people, the middle class people, they pay more than the millionaires. They pay more than most celebrities. Cut a bunch of celebrities too. Listen, most celebrities, okay, listen, I, I, I appreciate what they did for the, I mean, for their craft, but they pay the same. There's no difference, right? But I can't tell you who you want to cut. I can't tell you, right? Now, some people are going to walk in, kid, to, to, like, the kid example, if you want to just cut all kids, kids get bigger, man. You're going to lose a lot of clients. And then who you're going to refer them to, man. So if you're cutting kids, if you got a kitty barbershop like Wiggle Worms or something like that, you need to probably network with another barbershop. Like, listen, I'm, I'm going to send you over there when you're 16. Right? I mean, I, I think that that little kitty barbershop is a bad is a bad business model, man. It's, it's, it's kind of stupid, man. For, I, I don't want to say nothing stupid, but... I kind of do, man. It, it, it doesn't make sense to me, long term. Because I know I've been cutting little young boys since they was little kids. And they, bigger, they, they, they bigger than me now. They got fucking kids. You know what I mean? So how are you going to... Like, I can't cut you no more because you, you're grown now. It's kind of fucked up. That's, I mean, that's, that's kind of weird to me. It might be better for you, right? But anyway, look, we... We're gonna talk more about this because I'm in a car when this shit. <laughs> what happened with your meeting? It was just a revision. It was a revision. That's it? Oh my god. She said it'd be quick, but I don't know. I didn't realize it would be that quick. I could have been, been done with a text message or she email. Notify me of a revision. Alright, anyway, look, man, we talk about this in the next video. Go so stay focused. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'm giving you nothing a straight barber game and I'm gonna make sure that you become a six figure barber this year in one year fuck with me I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna make you a six figure barber alright hit that button and I'll see you on the other side